Hi, this is Dave Hook with the Dave Hook team of Hook Hook and Eckman Realtors out of South Central Pennsylvania. Thanks so much for checking into my video blog. Today we're going to answer the question, what is a short sale and what are two things I should know if I'm buying one? Stick around to find out. If you're looking to buy a home, click on search all homes. And if you're looking to sell a home, click on free home value report. Now on to the topic. So today we're going to answer the question, what is a short sale and what are two things I should know if I'm considering buying one? So a short sale, in short, is a sale of a property where the proceeds net the lender less than what is owed to the lender on the mortgage note. So for example, if you sign a mortgage note that you own, owe a lender $100,000 and you sell the property for $90,000, it's definitely considered a short sale. What a lot of people don't know is that you could actually sell a property for more than what is owed to the lender and it would still be considered a short sale. As an example, if you sell a property for $105,000 but your closing costs are six or $7,000 and it nets the lender then after the closing costs are paid $98,000, if you owe the lender $100,000 that would still be considered a short sale. So keep in mind just because you're selling the property for more than what's owed to the lender doesn't necessarily mean it's not a short sale. The other important thing to consider about a short sale is that it requires the lender's approval for the sale to go through. So like when you're selling a property in a normal private sale, when it's not a short sale, it just requires the owner's approval in order for the sale to go through. So the owner has to sign the contract. When you're giving this lender less than what is originally owed to them, it requires the lender's approval as well. Now the question arises, why would a lender ever consider accepting less than what is owed to them? And the answer is, if they review all of the owner's tax returns, verify their employment or if they don't have any, and find out that the owner is completely insolvent, that's the only reason that they would ever consider taking less than what is owed to them because in their mind, there's no chance that they're going to get paid for this mortgage note that what was owed to them and so they'll consider accepting less and in that case they'll approve a short sale because the alternative for them is that they'd have to foreclose on the property which takes months or even years and a lot of fees so in their mind it's better to cut their losses take the property back and then resell it two things you should know if you're considering buying a short sale property one is that short sales statistically have a higher chance of going for less than market value than a standard sale. And that's due in part to number two. The second thing you should know about when buying a short sale is that you have to be incredibly patient. When you're buying a short sale, it can take four, five, six months or even longer to get that bank's approval. And the reason for that is that it takes them that long sometimes to verify that the owner is actually insolvent and that it's in their best interest to approve taking less than what's owed to them. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any more questions about a short sale or any other real estate related topics, please reach out to us at the number and information below and myself or my staff would be happy to take great care of you. Thanks so much for watching this video blog and we hope to hear from you soon.